All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to make a sliding cabinet door faceplate here. Um, I've got a few just little examples here to show you. For this custom cabinet we're making, we got a 47 and 3 fourths uh, wide by 21 and a quarter tall. Now, what's important to, to remember to do here is the part that the sh that the door is actually going to be sliding on. You want to make that. Go like that. You're gonna have have the, this board is gonna be the longer one going down. That way it makes your cut easier and smoother. Um, so go over these measurements with you with you. The piece of wood that we're cutting is an inch and three three quarters wide. So we're gonna times that by two to get three and three fourths. So our total here is 47 and 3 fourths. We're going to subtract 3 and 3 fourths. So that's how long we want the sliding part, this part to be. And then we're going to go the full length of 21 and a quarter here. So we'll get um, get these boards cut to size and then show you the next step. Now we got our styles and rails cut. Um, the styles are the ones on the side that are going to go vertically. And the rails are the bottom and the top. So the next step here is to cut the grooves into the rails. Um, I got another video up. You can check that one out. Guy showed a pretty good technique of how to cut the grooves in there. So make sure you check out that video. All right, now we got the uh, grooves cut in our um, rails. So the next step is to put the two together, put the styles and rails together. I'm going to use the Craig jig um, to put two holes on the side to be able to fasten there. So I'll go ahead and do that. Alright, then I'll here's the final product after you install the styles and rails together. Um, kind of go through a little bit what I did here. Did the the styles to, to one side rail. Um, made the cuts here. Slid it down into the grooves and then we put the top one in. Now something that I did here, um, the the grooves in the rails only need to be about a quarter quarter of an inch. Um, do that for like easy math, so you know to add a half an inch. When you measure from here to here, add half an inch on there. And what I did on one of the rails, the top or the, the bottom rail, I made it just a little bit bigger, um, just to compensate so it wouldn't get stuck. And here's the finished product. Beautiful sliding door there. Turned out really good. Um, all I gotta do now is stain it to the color we want and we're good to go.